What's good, everybody? I'm your host, Mott Spencer. Welcome to an episode of Plug Talk. I got a very special guest today, my guy, Chet. Pull it up, What's introduce up, yourself. You know, I'm Chet from Minnesota. You know, I do a little bit of hooping here and there. I uh, had to come peep, uh, peep the inventory. Yes, sir. I'm gonna talk about some shoes. I might talk a little bit about hoop. Um, but yeah, come on. Tell me a little bit about yourself, man. You know, you grew up in Minnesota. Uh-huh. A little bit of a ball player. Uh-huh. Um, when did you, you start hooping? I started hooping in third grade. I did a little park board. Uh, I liked it. Um, so, you know, I started doing AAU the next year. Uh-huh. Wasn't too good, but, you know, after a while, you know, it started to come together. Okay, when, uh, and when did you start? Like, were you always tall or did you grow, you grow later on? No, I was always tall, but I had a huge growth spurt in like eighth grade. I grew like six or seven inches during the school year. Okay. And so I went from like 6'2 to like 6'9. Okay, and then once you started getting a little taller, was it at first was it kind of hard to play ball and stuff, or were you growing in your body, or did you all were you always? Oh yeah, it was yeah, because you know when you grow like six seven inches, you know legs hurt, knees Mm -hmm. hurt, stuff like that, growing pain, Uh, and you know I was kind of awkward too, just growing a lot, Mm -hmm. but you know I kind of started putting together after like a year and a half. Okay, okay, and then when you start, when did you start like really kind of developing like, you know, you got a lot of guard skills, especially for your size. Like, you know, yeah, I've been putting that together the whole time, but uh-huh. you know, I was just, you know, super slow, skinny white kid. You know, yeah. I wasn't really doing too much, but once I ended up being seven feet tall, you know, I started to kind of work in my favor. Okay, for sure. And tell me, uh, you know, recently, you know, you're kind of starting to get a little traction, you know, Ebony Bates came, mm-hmm. based off with him, uh, yeah. kind of did your thing. Tell me a little bit about how like the reaction after that game, maybe, Walking through how what it felt like, you know, kind of balling. Now you're on national TV, you know, yeah. big audience. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, you always want to play against the best on the biggest stage, and you know, uh-huh. you know, he's the best. That's the biggest stage. ESPN, the whole nation's watching. You know, you just gotta go out there, you know, kind of try and show people what you can do. Uh, and you know, that's what I try to do. Um, it wasn't nothing too crazy because, you know, I've been playing on ESPN since my freshman year, really. Yeah. So you know, it's kind of you know just same thing all over again, you know, just go out there and try and show what you do. National audience, nothing new to you, so you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, had a lot of eyes on me for a while now. Yeah, yeah, so, has it been, uh, you know, you're kind of like a, you're a taller guy, you know, you have a, you have a bigger foot, you're a size 16. Yeah, so um, I, gotta, I gotta really hunt down the plugs to get me some heat. Yeah, so what, what's it like kind of, you know, getting getting shoes at, at, your, at your size? Is it, it's a little bit more difficult, I would assume? I mean, it's, there's a pros and cons, it's hit or miss, like you could go to a store, and they might not have a single shoe in your size. Uh, but then, I mean, if there's some some heat in your size, you know, there's not too many people that wear my size. So, mm. you know, it's it's hit or miss, really. It depends on the situation. But usually the bigger shoes are a little cheaper too. Not, not as much demand for them. So, you know, there's ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Um, show me, show, kind of show the camera what, you, uh, what you're working with today. You know, I got the, the bread ones on, you feel me? Had to pull them out, you know. Light Put it drip. together with the yeah, light drip, comfy vibes. Yeah, you know, just chilling. So where'd you uh, where did you get those from? From my boy right here. <laughs> <laughs> just checking, man. Um, so like you know, big size foot, uh, a little harder to get kicks, but you end up you mm-hmm. end up still handling things. What, how yeah. many pairs do you think you got in your uh, in your collection? Uh, you know, Jordans and stuff. I probably got like fifty pairs. Okay. Uh, if you count all my shoes, I'm probably a little over a hundred. Mm. Uh, I got a lot of, you know, Under Armour shoes and stuff. Uh, my my AU team's Under Armour sponsored, so you know we got a we got a rep Under Armour uh, at all the tournaments and stuff. So I got a lot of those kicks too. And growing up, were you always uh, were you always into shoes, or is this something that like as you got older, yeah. more into the basketball? Scene? I was always into shoes, but uh, my dad never really let me like get a bunch of shoes because he knew I was gonna outgrow them in like six yeah. months. So there's no point. I used to have like, you know, a pair of walk around shoes, a pair of hoop shoes. You know, kind of rotate them a little bit, um, get new ones when I outgrew them. But once my foot stopped growing, stopped growing like freshman year, then I started to pick up on the cakes. Okay. Yeah. So you didn't want to, you didn't want to go too far, but collect a bunch of stuff. That yeah. There's no point in me at 14 year old, 14 years old, size 14. You know, getting 30 pairs of shoes and then having to get rid of them next year. So I was like, I was just chilling. Okay. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna show you a couple of shoes. So a lot of these might not be your size. I actually got yeah, a bunch of stuff. No, your he size. got some heat like, though. He got some heat though. You know, you, oh. you could peep though. Yeah, tell the me off-white. what you what you think about the uh, about the off white fives. Those just came out. Off white fives. These are tough. I like the gray ones a little more. The the ones that came out yep. you know, last year. Mm-hmm. I like those a little more, but these are tough. I don't like the off white blazers. Okay. Not not. Is that me. you have any uh, off whites in your collection right now? 
Uh, right now, yeah. I'm about to pick up those over there. Yeah. But um, other than that, no, I don't got no off whites right now. Are you a you, are you a fan at all of like the off white Nike kind of trend right now? I mean, it's pretty yeah, popular. I'm a, yeah, I'm a fan of it. Like, I'm not I'm not like a bandwagon or like yeah. a hype beast or nothing. Done. But, but it's not. definitely something. That but yeah, I yeah I definitely like the off whites. I like all the concepts. You know, I definitely like you know. Would you when you wear would you wear it off white with the tag or are you taking the tag off? No, I'm leaving the tag on because I mean it's kind of a little bit of a flex. It's not it's not like a tag like this. It's like it's part of the design. Exactly. Like it's meant to go with it. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I still rock it. And what about what do you what are your thoughts on SBs? You know, SBs kind of getting a big track. Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't I didn't mess with the SBs at first. Um I started I started I started messing with them because at first it was kind of plain colorways. I don't like like the plain ones, like the Michigan colorways. You showed me the the Michigan highs. I didn't like those, but yeah. you know the Ben and Jerry's. Like, poop, how can you not like this? Yeah. It's got like the little cow, cow hair or whatever on there. That's tough. So let's let, let's walk over and see some more stuff. Uh, I even have some stuff in your size. Um, got a couple more shoes over here. It's the one of the new ones. Yeah. See, like this colorway is tough. You got the you got the velvet on there. Yeah, that's tough. Are that's you familiar at all, like with the shoes names? Or you just kind of go by what you like. I got. I mean, there's so many shoes. Like, I'm not even gonna waste my time trying to memorize all the names. But yeah. like, if it's a shoe I like, like I'll memorize it. Like the black cat fours, all that. Like, but I'm not. I'm not. This is this. This is like. I don't know the name of this. Union. I bet you know it. The Union. Yeah, yeah union I know. Force. I gotta know. You know. Oh God. It's my job. Yeah, it is my job. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not my job. It's my job to wear them and make them look good. That's so. Are you? Uh, you know, a lot of people have been wearing, uh, especially in the in the hoop scene, like to wear some heat on the court. Are you one of those guys that is bringing out like some of your rare stuff when yeah, you play? Yeah, it depends. You... It depends because for the most part during AAU and stuff, I gotta wear Under Armour. Mm -hmm. So like it's pretty, you know, regular stuff. But during the high school season, you know, I'll pull some stuff out. I'll play. You know. The only retros I like playing in are the 10s and the 11s. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I, I pulled out the NYCs for playoffs this year. Tough. Um, you know, nothing too crazy because, you know, I don't like to mess up my retros. And you got, like, you have a bunch of Under Armors. I'm sure you have any exclusive Under Armors, like any Curry Special Editions? Yeah, I got some some Curry 4 Special Editions, you know, that they only really gave out to, you know, people playing on the circuit. Oh, okay. Uh, so, I mean, but it's, not, it's nothing crazy. It's not like, you know, I could resell them for, four times retail yeah, or something yeah. you know it's under armor some slight like you know they're comfortable playing what's your and what's your thoughts on you know the whole kind of resale thing i know it's something i think it's crazy i think it's crazy that somebody will pay eight times retail for a pair of shoes i never do it but at the same time i also think it's crazy you know that you know nike i mean nike's making money so like i'm not gonna you know try and talk down on their business style, but yeah. I think it's crazy, you know, they're trying to keep the shoes from the real fans and, you know, yeah. but I mean, so have you you ever know, you're making money off this. So yeah, hey, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, <laughs> I'm not complaining. So have you ever, uh, you know, have you ever tried to go out and get a shoe on uh, like a release day you ever went to the store? Nah, bro, I, because, you know, I see all my friends, you know, on sneaker app, yeah. try to get some shoes. They yeah. never get shoes. So I'm like, why am I gonna waste my time? You yeah. know? I already got plenty of stuff to do. I'm not gonna waste my time with that. So, man, you know, Chet's Chet's a real sneakerhead, man. This guy, he's got definitely knows his stuff about shoes. You know, I've, yeah. I've tested his knowledge a lot of times. He's definitely prevailed every every time. Um, he probably so you're saying uh, in the in the collection you got about 100 pairs. Um, is there anything? Is there anything you're looking to add to it right now? You know, uh, you know, I'm just looking through the warehouse right now. You know, I saw those off whites over there. Yeah, you yeah. know, the Kyrie's. Let's, uh, let, let me let's throw some up. stuff in your size. So uh -huh. this is one of the more uh, newer off whites, the off white yes, uh, Terras. Um, these would be mm -hmm. dope with some jeans or something. Yes, sir. What uh, I know you're probably gonna end up grabbing these. Mm -hmm. What uh, what would you wear these with? You know, like you said, I put them on with some jeans. You know, a nice little designer belt, uh, and then I'd probably go with a like a Supreme T or something. And then you know, it's, I'm from Minnesota, so it's cold. So you know, I got jackets. I probably put it on with a all black polo jacket, something like that. Some slight, nothing too crazy. So you're, you're not pulling up. This is not a pregame fit, or is this something you might rock, you know, before? No, a game? I could I could pull up pregame. You know, they're nice and comfy. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I don't like to put on like uh, nothing uncomfortable for a game. Mm -hmm. Like I, I wouldn't wear Tims or nothing before a game. Mm -hmm. um, 
I like to feel, you know, comfy before the game. And Keep I know, I know, like uh, a lot of the a lot of the trend right now with the hoop thing is definitely fashion and culture. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, every all the all the young. I mean, hoopers. I'm still in high school though, so like we don't got the whole tunnel thing going on with. The yeah, but I mean, a lot of the high school hoopers like, are still popping their no, popping, showing it, off yeah. their swag. Are yeah, you I at all? It. You get all caught up in that, or is that? Something you're not really focused too, too nah, much on. Nah, nah, nah. Like, I like to be presentable, look good, but I'm not gonna, you know, take a picture every day of every fit I put on, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, if you see me, you know what I'd be wearing. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna post every fit to Instagram. Yeah. But you, you know, you still check in every once in a while. You oh, know, yeah. you got some drip. Oh, yeah. You know, I follow League Fits. Shout out League Fits. I'll be putting some, some drip on there. Yeah. You know, I'll be, I'll be checking it out, making yeah. sure I'm, you know, staying up to date on the fashion trends. Yeah. So, so you definitely you're definitely making sure you're doing your homework sometimes, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I you know I'm a busy man. I don't got time to you know just look up Jordans all day. But you know, I, I do. Yeah. Some, but something my, you might be you might be doing in your uh, in your free time, you know. Yeah, you know? my free time. Yeah, I'm definitely scrolling through, you know, looking to see if I could find some heat for the low that I could cop. Okay. Uh, maybe flip some. So uh, you know, you're a basketball player. How much? How much? How often are you in the gym? Every day. Seven days a week. Seven days Seven a week. Seven days a week. You know, it's harder sometimes, especially right now, I'm traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. So like the days when you're flying all day, stuff like that, it's a lot harder. But you know, we're almost done with the traveling for tournaments and stuff. Mm -hmm. After this, I think we're done till the season starts like a month from now. So okay. I'll be seven days a week, you know, wait six days a week, hoop seven days a week. So. And what's it been like, you know, playing ball in, uh, in Corona, with coronavirus, has that at all stopped you from playing? I know you're still playing on yeah, TV and yeah, stuff. Yeah, now I am, uh, for the first like six, seven months, I wasn't, um, cause you know, you know, complicated situations, you know, it's yeah. kind of like, it just hit, nobody was really ready to yeah. prepare for it. So, you know, but after like six months, or so, you know, figured out the situation, was able to get back out there and, and hoop. So it's been fun. This last month, I've been, you know, pretty much gone more than I've been home. So. Okay. And how are you? How are you? You know, kind of like staying in shape. I know. Were you at home just hitting some push-ups? You know. No, nah, man. Uh, at, for the first like month, it was yeah, just push-up stuff at the crib. You know, go. I have a hoop in my backyard, so I go out there. But after that, I was like, I gotta get back in the gym for real. You know, it's huh. weights six days a week and then hooping as well, you know. Yeah. Just, you know. Did you at all get into like, you know, video games, uh, stuff like that over, over quarantine? Yeah, you know, I played a whole lot of Call of Duty. Yeah. My, my Call of Duty skills have gotten a lot better, but I, I stay away from, you know, 2K, Mad and stuff like that. Cause, okay. you know, I see myself being better in person yeah. than I am on the sticks and it makes me mad. Yeah. So when my friends beat me, I always try to take it to the real court and you know, they don't want to do that. Okay, okay. So now you know, uh, summer's over, you know, you got school right uh -huh. now. Are you, you're taking, uh, you're taking classes online and stuff? Yeah, yeah, for the most part. So okay. our school is like hybrid. You can kind of pick when you go in and pick when you do online. Okay, so, cool. Especially with all the travel I've been doing online. Okay, dope. Um, yeah, so I mean, we pretty much talked about everything. Uh, saw what you like, saw what you thought on some shoes. Uh, we still, I still got some I want to challenge you. I know you're, you know, you're a hooper a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Got a little mini hoop in here. Um, you know, we play we play a little game called plug. He's, try, he's trying to lose. Yeah, he's that's, trying that's to lose. He's, he's trying to lose. I got home court advantage, you know. So I got I got to shoot jumpers with this guy, man. He's almost at the hoop. Yeah. Corner of the carpet. Step back. Luca. Luca. Woo. This man. This man uh, thinks uh, I'm Luca. Been saying that all all day. Layup. Okay. I'm gonna shoot free throws. Right here? Yeah, right behind the wall. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm about to play. You saw the make though, you saw it go in. Where did you shoot it from? Right here? Yeah, right at the top. Oh, oh yeah. PL. Um, We'll go left and come back here. I've been, I've been playing basketball in years, man. All right, let me see what I got. I got a little, I got a little fade away. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. A little tool bag right there. Okay. Give him, give him a pee right there. Hey. Give him a pee right the there. Backboard fucks me up. It's not playing. All right, another one right here. Yep. That's why you gotta switch it. Fade away this way. Tough, tough. Ooh, you gotta call glass on that. You gotta call glass on you. Fade this way? Yeah, that way. Yeah. Oh, PLU. Sheesh. Alright, I'm gonna take some harder shots, but I'll give you a chance. Left. Let's see what I got. Um, one foot is low. I got feet. 
Uh, you got feet. Yeah. PLU? Yeah. See, you really got that post game, too. Stay up. All right, PLU. All right, hey, this is game point right here. I got the ball in my hand. Can I do this? We'll see. We'll see. I jump right here. I'm clutch. Oh. We're going to go uh, with the left. Wow. Wow. That's game. That's game. I'm we not. Got, hey, keep in mind. Keep in mind. I'm not a left hand. Keep in mind. I'm not a lefty, and this is also a jumper with the lefty. Game five. Damn. GG. Good job. Good job. Man, I lost that one. Am I, I thought going to beat you on home court? Uh, I've lost. I've lost. I've lost once or twice before. Okay. Lost okay. once or twice before. You know, it's it's not always. I'm not. I, sometimes I have unfair competition. I'm not gonna make excuses though. And I got the home court. My boy, my boy came through, cashed out, grabbed some sure. some serious drip. Size 16s. Yes, you don't sir. really find them everywhere, but no, you don't. You know, you know I, I got I got a my boy for the secret stash. Hookup, yeah. Secret stash. But I show him what you grab. You know, I had to grab the V-Loan shirt. You know, you see it goes with this fit right here. You know, I can flick up right now if I wanted to. You know, I had to grab some hoop shoes. You know, got me some Kyrie's. Mm -hmm. Got me a little pretty boy hoodie right here. You know, and then I had to grab a pair of the off whites. You know, my boy had to hook me up. Elite. You know, Chet came through, pulled up on me all the way from Minnesota. Appreciate um, you having me. You know it's love, brother. Um, stay tuned. You know, you got anything you want to tell them about? Anything you got on the, on the way? Cooking? You know, just stay tuned. You know, I got got some big things coming up this year. You know, okay. if I'm on TV, tune in. Uh, Y'all will probably be able to see. Uh, you know, got some big things coming up. Okay, no doubt. Walking Bucket. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to an episode of Plug Talk. I'm your host, Mott Spenson. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.